Hola chicos, bienvenidos a este sábado de Storytelling and Mindfulness. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos están viendo en vivo y bienvenidos a todos los que nos están acompañando por medio de nuestra liga Zoom. Bueno, pues el día de hoy tenemos un cuento como todos los sábados, un cuento muy bonito que nos deja algún aprendizaje, alguna moraleja o algo muy especial a nosotros. Y después acuérdense que viene nuestro Kahoot y nuestra actividad de Mindfulness. Así que vamos a comenzar. El día de hoy nos toca Colegio San Ángel Poza Rica y bueno, yo soy Neri Martínez, yo soy la coach de desarrollo humano de Colegio San Ángel Poza Rica y el día de hoy vamos a platicar un poquito sobre este cuento, quienes nos lo va a impartir el maestro Enrique Camacho. Hola, hola maestro Enrique y también vamos a tener por ahí invitados especiales para poder seguir platicando sobre este divertido cuento. Así que bueno chicos, bienvenidos, recuerden si quieren tener su camarita, si quieren, no sé, vayan por algo, por un vasito de agua, por unas palomitas o algo, porque este momento se trata de disfrutar como todos los sábados. Así que bueno maestro, bienvenido, le doy la voz. Hello, good morning everyone. So it's time for storytelling and the story of today is very interesting. And I have a special guest today. That is a teacher, Alan. Hello, teacher, Alan. How are you? Hello, everybody. Hello, kids. Hello, guys. Good morning. It is nice to be here with you. And thanks for inviting. I'm so excited to start this storytelling. So today we are um, talking about this story that is called Pancho Rabbit. That I am Pancho Rabbit. And the Kajari, the teacher, Alan, is today the Kajari. So, uh, Let's start. Okay, so this is the story, Pancho Rabbit and the Kajari. One spring, the rains did not come and the crops could not grow. So Papa Rabbit, Senor Rooster, Senor Ram, and other animals from the rancho set out north to find work in the great carrot and lettuce fields. There, they could earn money for their families. Many harvests went by, and it was finally time for Papa Rabbit to return home. His family was preparing a big fiesta. Everybody, on the rancho was excited to see him, especially Pancho Rabbit, his eldest son. I heard Mama telling Senora Dog that Papa saved enough money in El Norte so that he won't ever have to leave us again. Pancho told his brother and sisters. They were helping Mama cook Papa's favorite meal, mole, rice and beans, a heap of warm tortillas, and a hook full of fresh aguamiel. The musicians arrived and began to tune their instruments, while Pancho and his sister hung papel picado to decorate the patio. The rabbit's friends from the rancho began to arrive. They listened to the musica. They ate some mole and they waited and waited, but Papa Rabbit did not appear. He must have had a late start, said Mama Rabbit. Maybe the weather was bad and he had to find shelter, said Pancho's youngest sister. They waited some more, but still, Papa Rabbit was not to be seen. When it was dark, the musicians and the guests said the goodbyes and headed home. Your Papa will certainly arrive by morning, Senora Dot told Pancho and his family. After waiting and worrying long into the night, the Rabbit family finally went to bed, except for Pancho. I have to find my father, he thought. He packed Papa's favorite meal, mole, rice, and beans, 
and a heap of steel warm tortillas and a jug full of fresh aguamiel. He placed it in a mochila to carry on his back and headed out. Pancho followed the stars north. After walking a while, he met a coyote. <clears throat> Good evening, little rabbit. Where are you going? Good evening, Senor Coyote. I'm going north to meet my papa, who has been working in the carrot and lettuce fields, replied Pancho. It'll take you days and days to get there on this trail, replied the coyote. I can show you a shortcut. That is, if you give me that sweet and spicy molly you have. I smell it a mile away. Pancho did not wish to give his father molly away, but he missed him terribly. As long as it gets me closer to Papa, he said, and he let the coyote have it. <laughs> the coyote led Pancho to the train tracks. As the sun rose, he showed Pancho how to jump onto a passing car. The train was running so fast, poor Pancho almost fell off. They rode atop the train, zooming through the countryside. When the train slowed for a curve, Pancho and the coyote leaped off. We must now cross the river, said the coyote. Senor Coyote, I don't know how to swim, said Pancho. The water was murky and rushed by very fast. He was scared. I can help you reach the other side, said the coyote. But I will be exhausted after I do. Once we are across, I will need to eat the rice and beans you are carrying to regain my strength. Fine, said Pancho. As long as it gets me closer to Papa. The coyote picked up the tire that was jumped on the riverbank. Pancho gathered all his courage and held on tight. Splash! They jumped into the river. The coyote helped him flow to the far bank. And although he did not want to, Pancho gave the coyote the rice and beans, just as he had promised. The sun was high in the sky now. Pancho and the coyote walked on and soon reached a very tall fence that separated the south from the north. It was impossible to jump or climb over. There is a tunnel we can use, say the coyote. But the snakes watch it. If you give me them, yes, you are caring, I'm sure they will let us through. As long as it gets me closer to Papa. The coyote talked to the snakes. They agreed to let them pass but demanded every single one of Pancho's tortillas. Pancho and the coyote entered the tunnel. It was dark, narrow, and very long. When they, they emerged, Pancho and the coyote were on the north side of the fence. They were in El Norte. The afternoon sun beat down on them and there was no shade. The coyote pointed to a hut in the distance. We can spend the night there, he said. In the morning, 
I will take you to the great carrot and lettuce fields. And there you will find your papa. Pancho and the coyote walk under the desert sun. Poor Pancho's feet ate. Give me some of what meal you have, little rabbit, said the coyote. I feel dizzy. If I don't drink something, I will collapse and I will never get there. Pancho gave the coyote some agua miel. The sand and air were snorching hot and Pancho felt dizzy. He was very, very thirsty and he drank the reminder. As long as it gets me closer to Papa, repeated Pancho to himself in a diss. When Pancho and the Kajori reached the hut, it was dark. The Kajori built a small fire for light and warmth because at night the dessert is freezing cold. I'm so hungry after all that walking, say the Kajori. Do you have any more mole, little rabbit? No, Senor Kajori, you ate it all. Uh, any more rice and beans? No, Senor Kajori, you ate it them all. Uh, any more tortillas? No, Senor Kajori, the snakes ate them all. There is nothing left. Not even a drop of agua miel. In that case, say the Kajori, I will roast you in the fire and eat you. With cried, Pancho left into the door. He was the fastest animal on the rancho, and normally he could outrun the Kajori, but he was tired from the long journey. He could not reach the door. He could not reach the window. And all he could do was huddle in a corner as the coyote slowly approached. Suddenly, the door was thrown open. Who entered but Papa Rabbit with Senor Ram and Senor Rooster? They soon had the coyote racing outdoors and far away from his tail between his legs. Panchito, mijo! Say Papa Rabbit, and he gave Pancho a hug. I thought I would never see you again. A gang of frowns attacked us. Say it's in your rooster. They took the money and gifts we were bringing back to our families and left us stranded in the desert. We heard your cries for help. Say it in your ram. Your papa recognized your voice. We ran to you as fast as we could. Papa, say Pancho. I'm so happy to find you, and I know the way home. So Pancho let Papa Rabbit, Senor Rooster, and Senor Ram home. When they arrived, there was a big fiesta. There was mole, rice, and beans, warm tortillas, fresh agua miel, and musica for everyone on the rancho. Pancho told his brothers and sisters about all the dangers he and Papa had faced. Please don't leave us again, said the rabbit children. We were so worried for you. I don't want to leave you, said Papa Rabbit. But the crows took all our money. If it doesn't rain enough this year, and if there is no food or work here on the rancho, what else am I to do? 
I will have to leave again. And I will come with you. Said Pancho. We will all go with you. Said Pancho's brothers and sisters. Let's hope it rains. Said Mama. And that's the end. The end. Thank you. Okay, that's the end of Pancho Rabbit and the Kojori. And now it's time to prepare your cell phones, your iPads for playing the Kahoot. Okay, so go to the page www.kahoot.it and introduce the game pin. Okay, so hurry up. Es momento de nuestro cajú, chicos. Así que vamos a conseguir nuestro celular, nuestra iPad, tablet, computadora o el dispositivo que tengan por ahí para poder jugar cajú y poder descubrir qué es lo que aprendimos de este cuento que el maestro Enrique y el maestro Alan nos compartieron muy bello el día de hoy. Así que vamos, chicos, vamos, vamos corriendo para conectarnos en cajú y posteriormente el maestro Enrique nos va a compartir el código. Vamos chicos, ¿ya están listos? ¿Ya tienen su Kahoot? ¿Listo? Muy bien. Michelle, Edith, Karen, Israel, listo chicos, Dios muy bien. Dios Vamos. Ah, bueno Israel, todavía tienes tiempo de buscarlo, conectarte por algún dispositivo, pedirle ayuda ahí a lo mejor a tus papás o algún tutor para que te puedan ayudar a conectarte. Vamos chicos, vamos. Ya estamos casi todos listos. Arumi, lista. Edith, Karen, Michelle, veo que ya está lista, ya me dijo que sí. David, muy bien, chicos. Charbel, ¿estás listo? Roberto, Bárbara, muy bien. Karen, Edith, ya están listas. Vamos, chicos, para estar listos en nuestro cajo. Okay, Miren, ya so está listo el código. That is the game pin. That it's six, five, eight, nine, five, nine, nine. So hurry up. Join at www.kahoot.it and introduce the game PIN. So hurry up, guys. We are waiting for you. Remember, the game PIN is 658959599. Welcome, Barbara. Welcome, David. Michelle is here, too. So let's remember the story. That was an interesting story about Pancho and the Kojori. Señor Kojori, are you hungry? I am really hungry after the Papa just left with everybody. I am in the hood. Okay. I'm hungry. So Karen is here, Roberto and Rodri, Harumi, Char, Asiel. I don't know if Char is Charbel. I guess it's that. Because Charbel is always in all the storytelling. Asiel. So one minute more, one minute more. Hurry up, hurry up. Vamos chicos, es momento de registrarnos en nuestro Kahoot para poder iniciar nuestra evaluación, nuestro jueguito y poder participar todos. We have nine people. Maybe we're waiting for one more in order to have ten people in the game. So hurry up. The time is running. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's start the game. So, punch a rabbit quiz. <clears throat> Question number one. Pay attention. Why did Papa Rabbit have to leave? Why? The family needed a new a new horse for the ranch. Mama Rabbit was sick, so he went to get medicine. There was no rain, so the crops didn't grow. He was moving away. 
what do you think? Why Papa Rabbit have to leave? Why Papa Rabbit went to the north? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, because there was no rain, so the crops didn't grow. Okay, so David is on the top. Next question, Senor Kajori, can you help me? Yes, of course. Why did the family do to celebrate? They made him handmade cards. They had a fiesta, a party. They didn't know he was coming home. They met him halfway so they could walk home with him. So what did the family do to celebrate Papa's return? What do you think? What do you remember? What did they do? Tell me, tell me. After they left me. Okay, they had a fiesta, correct? A party yes. and I got right. They had a fiesta, party. Okay, so, question. Uh, okay, so Barbara is on the top. Good job, Eddie, David, Roberto, and Rodi and Arumi. Question number three. What is Papa Rabbit's favorite meal? Molly rice and beans? Tacos and enchiladas? Hamburgers and fries? Sandwiches and chips? Mm. In my case, tacos and enchiladas. I really, I like it. I like it so much. Okay, so let's go to the question number four. And Barbara is on the top. So the question number four says, what did Pancho Rabbit do when Papa Rabbit didn't come home? He stayed up and waited until he came home. He cried and cried. He asked his mom to go looking for Papa or Pancho went looking for him. What did Pancho Rabbit do? Tell me, what do you remember? What did he do? Yes, Pancho went looking for him. Exactly. So let's see how the scores go. Barbara in first, Edith in second, and Roberto and Rodri in third. Let's go to the next one. Why did the Kojori want so that he could help him? What is the answer? What do you think? Okay, so this is a tough challenge. Next question, let's go. So question number six, why did Pancho need the coyotes help to cross the river? He needed to make a boat. Pancho Rabbit didn't like to get wet. The coyote knew a secret passage or Pancho Rabbit couldn't swim. What do you remember? Why did Pancho need the coyotes help? to cross the river. Let's see. Pancho Rabbit could not swim exactly that little rabbit. Oh, David, okay. Hey, good job, Barbara is still on the top. David is doing well. Come on, Edith, Roberto, Rodi, and Arumi. You can do it better. Next question. Why did they have to go through a tunnel to get to Papa? There was a large fence they couldn't climb. They had to get away from the raccoon. They the road ended. It was the fastest way. Yes. There was a very tall fence. Next question. Question number eight. 
Where did they spend the night in the hot desert? They found a cave to sleep in? They stayed in a small hut? They slept in the tunnel? Or they dug a large hole? Where did they stay? Do you remember? Where did we stay? Pancho and I. Yeah, we stayed in a small hood, remember? When I wanted to eat the rabbit. Oh, David is doing a comeback. Good job, David. Question number nine. What did the coyote want to eat after they finished all the food? The coyote wanted to hunt for snakes. The coyote wanted to eat nopales. Kajori wasn't hungry after the long trip, or Kajori wanted to eat Pancho Rabbit. Yes. Okay, question number 10. Three more. Who saved? Pancho Rabbit, a friendly tortoise, his brothers and sisters, Papa Rabbit, Senor Ram, and Senor Rooster, or the Coyote. Who saved Pancho Rabbit? Yes, Papa Rabbit, Senor Ram, and Senor Rooster. Hey, no, the was not. Question number 11. What is not an example of family love in the story? Papa Rabbit left his family for her to support them. The family offered to come with him work the next year. The coyote helps only if he gets food. Pancho Rabbit went looking for his father. Yes. So is the moment for the last question. Last question. Number 12. Which one would not be a moral of this story? Always trust your instincts. Family comes first. Help the ones you love or stay away from deserts. Which one would not? be a moral of this story not 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 okay let's see yes stay away from deserts that's not a moral let's see the results let's see the results okay. third, place. third place goes to edit Second place for Barbara, and the first place goes to David. Congratulations, David. Good work, man. Okay, guys. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so, we are going to continue with the mindfulness, okay? So, prepare yourself and do this beautiful activity that Miss Neri is doing right now. Gracias, Maestro Enrique. Gracias, Maestro Alan, por tan bello cuento. Y wow, chicos, muchas felicidades. Participaron muy bien. Y a los que a lo mejor no sacaron hoy ningún lugar, no importa, porque, ¿qué creen? El siguiente sábado pueden volver a intentarlo en nuestro siguiente cuento, en nuestro siguiente Cajut, y así sucesivamente. Así que lo importante es que nos acompañen. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Y bueno, vamos a empezar con nuestra técnica Mindfulness. El día de hoy, ¿qué creen que vamos a hacer? Vamos a caminar. Así que no importa si no tienen mucho espacio, ahí en donde estén nos vamos a poner de pie y vamos a caminar. Y mientras caminamos, ¿qué creen que vamos a hacer? Vamos a ir pensando cómo es que nos sentimos, ¿Qué es lo que nos dejó este cuento? ¿Qué es lo que nos dejó la historia? Así que pueden empezar a abrir sus cámaras. Veo que Israel ya se puso de pie. Muy bien, Israel. Muy bien. Roberto, Michelle, Edith, Arumi, Charbel. Muy bien, Charbel. Veo que estás concentrado. Excelente. 
Esta es una técnica de mindfulness y vamos muy bien, Arumi, muy bien. Vamos, vamos, yo estoy de pie. Yo ya estoy de pie, les voy a mostrar. Miren, déjenme quito mi fondo para que puedan ver muchísimo mejor. Aquí ya estoy de pie, ¿ya vieron? Así que vamos a caminar, así como yo, vamos a caminar, porque esto nos va a servir de mucho y nos vamos a sentir muy bien con nosotros mismos. Al mismo tiempo vamos a poder tener contacto con nosotros mismos. Vamos a pensar, cerrar nuestros ojitos mientras caminamos despacio, obviamente no vayamos a chocar. Y vamos a pensar cómo es que nos sentimos, nos sentimos contentos, nos sentimos emocionados. ¿Alguien de aquí sabe cómo se siente? Edith, ¿cómo te sientes? Feliz. Muy bien, Edith. Charbel, ¿cómo te sientes? Muy bien, muy bien. Excelente, Charbel. Muy bien. Harumi, Harumi, veo que estás caminando. Harumi, ¿estás acompañada? ¿Quién te está acompañando, Arumi? Ah, es Israel. Hola, chicos. ¿Cómo se sienten, chicos? ¿Están contentos de estar caminando? Sí, 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 sí. Muy bien. Wow, Excelente. Esto es muy bueno y nos ayuda muchísimo a estar en contacto con nosotros mismos. Muchas veces nos pasamos sentados o acostados, lo cual es muy divertido también, pero también le podemos dar la oportunidad al caminar, caminar en nuestro entorno y no necesitamos tener el gran espacio, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, es muy importante practicar esto para que estemos en contacto con nosotros mismos. Karen, veo que estás caminando muy bien. Ya no te veo de que andas en todas partes. Ya regresaste, ya te volviste a ir. Muy bien, Roberto, tu fondo virtual. Wow, qué bonito. Muy bien, gracias chicos por participar. Ahora vamos a parar todos, vamos a dejar de caminar. Y nos vamos a centrar otra vez aquí, chicos. Espero que hayan podido encontrar cómo es que se sienten, hayan podido concientizar un poquito sobre el cuento que el maestro Enrique y el maestro Alan nos regalan el día de hoy. Y recuerden que este sábado y los demás sábados vamos a tener técnicas de mindfulness y cuentos en inglés, los cuales nos van a dejar un aprendizaje y una moraleja. Bueno, chicos, me dio mucho gusto verlos a continuación. Les voy a compartir aquí nuestra barra de contenidos para que ustedes puedan ver los eventos que tenemos y sus papis también, sus abuelitos, tíos. El día de mañana tenemos Activémonos, que es Deporte de Defensa Personal para Mujeres, a las 9 de la mañana y nos pueden ver todas nuestras transmisiones por Facebook Live. El lunes tenemos Huella de Líderes que Trascienden, UO Health TV los martes, Guarida Grizzly todos los miércoles, los jueves desde Abrazo de Osos, Viernes de Creadores con Garra. Y bueno, nuestros sábados de Storytelling, cerrando con nuestros domingos de Activémonos. No olviden sintonizarnos y estar pendiente a la otra semana que es nuestro Innovation Fest. Bueno, Colegio San Ángel, Poza Rica, Puebla y Coatzacoalcos, les mando un abrazo y los esperamos el siguiente sábado. Pásenla muy bonito, bye. chicos. Bye. 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 Bye.